Okay, so here we go. Let's start with Willow. I was like, where are the closed captioning? And like, it's a lyric video. <laughs> I like this so far. Oh, I like it. See, this is like her verses sound different. They're not, they're in the same like family as like folklore, but it's just different. It sounds different. I love her songwriting. She's just like inspirational for me and how my brain works. It just the works. I love how she like hollow, you know, willow. Like it's she doesn't say empty or you know, like I oh gosh, I love it. Never thought I would be a Taylor Swift fan. <laughs> Never. Like when she first started. I didn't like that beginning stuff. I like it now as far as like songwriting, but I don't like the sound of it. And a lot of it was like very like teenage -y. And I was never really a teenager. Okay, so champagne problems. Don't like that. Piano, it, it just sounds too familiar. I'm not a fan of this song. I can see what she was doing, but I, I'm not, not a fan. I'm like more stuck on looking at when the ring disappears in this video. <laughs> Missed it again. I just want to see the ring disappear. Ah, oh, it disappeared, it's hot. Yeah, not a fan of this song. Not at all. Sorry. Sorry. Gold Rush. So I had to pause, but Gold Rush. It's like middle. Um I think some of these might sound better once I take a time and really hear the lyrics because some of them go so fast. I think uh, some of it is kind of that I don't follow the story because it goes so fast and I'm so tired. I think I'm intrigued by this song the most so far. Not a huge fan musically, how it sounds, but I think that this is a song that feels a little less composed together and more like pieced together like a quilt. It's so hard to follow this song. I think that's an indulgent song, personally. I don't think that was a good song. Tis the season. <laughs> I like that one. Another one I'm not a, a huge fan of. It's hard to follow the story. Not as bad as Gold Rush. I think Gold Rush was like the hardest one. Like, wait, what? My head hurts trying to like keep on. But that's sweet. Oh, can I fast? Can I just? I don't want to sit through the, the rest of this song because I just, I don't like it. I think this one, honestly, she was trying to, um, yeah, it, it sucked. Okay, moving on. Tolerate it. <laughs> like this album. Let's tolerate this album. I think she was, uh, you know, going with the success and the, the amazingly good album that she made in Folklore and following that trail. And I think this one's kind of a failing at this point. I mean, I'm five songs in out of 15, but this one started better. I will say that this one's like easier to digest at least. The story I feel is a little more, it's smaller or something, so it's like easier to follow. It's like a moment in time versus trying to squeeze like a whole story in a small time, if that makes sense. It got a little more confusing. It's okay. This one's okay. It's giving me hope for the rest of uh, 10 other songs. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. It's not taking my breath away for sure, but it's okay. Nobody, no crime featuring Haim. Him? I think it's Haim. She, she did not like the sirens. I like this song. Oh my gosh. This is good. This is so much better. Like, this is repetition done right, I feel like. So good. So good. So good. Who wrote this one? So good. I like this one. Ooh, I like that. Oh, I love that. I guess it was just like her. I hate these. Go away. I don't want to see all these other things. I want to see what the writing is. Yeah, I, I love it. I love it. I love this one. Yes. Happiness. May it be as good or like, you know, keep on the good streak. Me neither. 
I don't hate it. That's a good one. Oh, that was nice. This reminds me of Ryan Starr's songs, actually. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, look at this song's lyrics. So this song is like, not my favorite melody-wise. It's not like, oh my gosh, this is such a good melody, you know, from that standpoint. But the lyrics are like so smart. Oh, so smart. I wonder which ones have more likes and dislikes, you know, like from other people. Okay, Dorothea. I think that's how you pronounce it. Why oh, I will like this video. Oh, so pretty. Don't like it so far. It's like redundant. That's cool. Yeah, I feel like this song is again like kind of crappy. It's like forced. Forced and improvised. My two frustrations with some songwriting. I like this part. I think mean, that's like playful and cool. But the beginning of this song sucks to me. And this uh, kind of stuff. Okay, I'm, I'm not gonna listen to the rest of the song. I can't. Coney Island. All right, who's the national? Never heard of them or him or her. I like this so far. Oh, I like that. I like, see, this is good. This one's good. I'm definitely getting kind of tired. I just want to keep. Oh, my God. What's a lifetime of achievement? No, Cincinnati, Ohio. Now it's gotten. Nah. Not that great, but yeah, the okay, moving on to the next one. This one was great. Ivy. Oh, I like this. It's okay. It's interesting. I like it. Not a huge, huge fan like I was with, like, Nobody, No Crime. Oh my gosh, that's so good. That's the star of the album, I think. I also want to know, like, I feel like the swear words. Mm, not convinced. I just feel like it's a little gratuitous. It's like, Kind of, I don't know, I feel like swear words in general, it's like, why? Do you really, is that really the best word that you want? I don't know, I find swear words lazy. With exceptions, but generally I feel like it's lazy expression, I guess so. But this, I guess, like, I can see that, you know, it rhymes and stuff. It's okay, let's move on. Cowboy like me. I like this one. Interesting line. Can I move on? I, I'll listen to it later. Cool, cool, good, good. Long story short. Okay. Mm, I'm not convinced about this song. Oh, this is a sweet song, but middle. It's okay. I like this bridge. I need a new camera. This is cute. This is cool. This is creative. All right. Marjorie. Oh, three more, it feels like forever. <laughs> I'm so tired. I don't like the message, but I like the, the song. Who is this lady? Oh my gosh. Pause for a second. Pause for a second. Pause for a second. Let me get on my pedestal. Oh my gosh, hold on. Let me take a picture of my dog because he's, she's adorable right now. I mean, right, right. Okay. So as things kept going, I was like, I wonder if this is her grandmother. Why would she be singing? It just felt like that, you know, and with the pictures, the videos and everything. And then it is. I don't want <laughs> to see another celebrity that is a celebrity kind of looked up to for the way they kind of came from nothing more or less or like look at how hard they worked and you know all this stuff and then you find out all these things that it's like shoot yeah of course yeah she definitely did work hard but look look at her grandmother look at her appearance because i think one of my other vlogs was talking about how someone told me i don't really remember i'm sorry i don't remember who it was but someone told me like when I was kind of in awe of like 
how can someone like Taylor Swift know and be so sure and be so focused at like 13 or 16 or whenever she went for it and so young and even Beyonce right but Beyonce had like more of a story like her dad was like very much more involved than when you hear Taylor Swift's story it was like her driving the ship and and someone told me like yeah you have to like keep in mind though who her parents were like her parents weren't middle class like they were but they weren't they're like rich middle class I believe I believe that in some sort of documentary or some thing out there. It was also mentioned how Taylor's dad knew people in the music business. They, he knew executives, record company executives or something. So when you have a support system, when you have family members that believe in you, even starting there with no other connections, okay? That's one. When you have family members that believe in you that have connections or at least have experienced it for themselves and know what's out there to kind of give you more of a heads up than zero than I've had. I have no one in the music industry in my family. And when you have people who actually did it themselves, like, what? It's kind of like Miley Cyrus too. Like her dad was, um, was who he was and Dolly Parton is her god mom right godmother when you have that it is so much easier to push through neither of them had a great voice and yet it got developed albeit they had probably a better voice than i did maybe but still like you know like you when you have money and or an idea of what you're getting yourself into or people around you that can help you navigate that even a tiny slight bit It doesn't quite make me bitter at this point because I don't want that energy, I don't want that toxicity. But it wouldn't have made me bitter at other points. I'm fighting not being bitter right now about this song. I like this song a lot. If I was born with her, like, I, I'm not saying that she shouldn't have used these connections and this inspiration, all that stuff. Like, use it, you know. The problem is not with her, it's with anyone who looks at her or anyone else. Like, oh my gosh, they raised from nothing. They came from nothing. They look at how talented they are, how amazing they are because of their hard work. And yes, hard work is so important and crucial, but it's not just hard work. Actually, that was something that Pine Tree was saying yesterday because we were talking about, you know, how we pictured our lives a little differently and yeah it's like hard work but it's more than that too so I still like the song but yeah this is so like Grand Star's music this song and there's another song it's so interesting that's a good song though and that's great closure all right so two more songs it feels like forever it feels like it's the end is not coming in soon enough um yeah it's not necessary because of the songs, I'm just tired and yeah. I'm not a fan so far. I like what she's doing with her voice though. It's gotten better. I like it now. Kind of kind of, I kind of kind of relate to that. Okay, cool, cool. I like it. It's good. Oh no. I just closed the last one evermore. Where are you? Alright, let's see this one. Oh. Commercial. This one's with Bonnie Vet again. Sounds like that other one that you have. Exile, so mm. It's okay. Exile was just so amazing. Oh my gosh. Exile was amazing. I'm not comparing it necessarily. This one's actually just like a very good feeling song, even though it's sad and stuff. It just like it, it's wormy and gooey, soothing. I can see, and I can see it fit, but it doesn't really. <laughs> yeah, I'm not impressed. And I'm impressed with this one. I'm gonna stop there. Yeah, so my favorite songs were, I think, Nobody No Crime, Coney Island, 
those are like my top two songs I rem I think. Willow, Tolerated, Happiness, um, Cowboy Like Me, and Long Story Short. Those were, and Marjorie. Those were like good. Uh, they're, they're really good for me from my completely subjective opinion. <laughs> you know, just what I like hearing. I'm not saying, oh my gosh, that's like good songwriting, bad songwriting. Unless I specifically say things that I believe are in relation to that. So I'm gonna watch the video afterwards uh, for Willow and probably find out Easter eggs and whatever or not. Maybe that'll help me wrap my mind around some songs that were very difficult to wrap my mind around and maybe I'll like them more. Like Gold Rush wasn't terrible but it was just so hard to follow and it was just, I don't know. Because sometimes the meaning of a song, the story behind a song, sometimes I'm not gonna lie, some singers, I think like Ryan Starr has said, you know, I don't like sharing the story behind the song because it's, it's like art and everyone's like, I like that everyone like interprets it with their own story. Sometimes I really like that. It makes me appreciate the story and the song a lot more. I don't know. So anyway, so that's, that's my thoughts on Evermore by Taylor Swift and Britney. I'd say Miley Cyrus had a better album, but also this is her second album, Taylor's second album this year. And Folklore, I think, oof, might be better than Plastic Hearts as a whole body of art. But maybe not. They're very different and definitely they both have a place on my playlist. But this one... It didn't, I, I, I don't know, I don't, I don't think it was such a success. I'm sure people will, you know, say differently and they'll be like, oh my gosh, this was so great and look at this. And that's the other thing, it's how people talk about someone or something that makes a huge difference sometimes too. When, if you've noticed when people describe you a person and they like really love that person or like um, admire them or whatever, it makes you see them that way. So that's a little tricky to like navigate and like sniff out, but or, you know, at least keep that in mind. But I'm gonna go eat and stuff, maybe take a nap, and I'll talk to you later. I do like that, I missed it. So cool.